Praise the Lord. Why not give God some praise in this house tonight? If you are expecting something good from the Lord. Why not give him some praise in advance? You remember what I told you yesterday. There is a praise that you give to God. So thank him for what he has done. But there is a praise you give to God. To provoke what you need him to do. In the next 60 seconds. I want you to give God some praise in this house. Come on DC. All over this place tonight. Let us let him know how much we are grateful. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. My last child is a three year old girl. I want us to borrow some wisdom from a three-year-old girl tonight. Every time my daughter wants to ask me for something she knows, I will not easily give her. She would come around me and and, and shower me with kisses. Tell me, Daddy, I love you. All kinds of sweet talk. And then what follows after all of that? When my heart is melted, she said, Can I have juice? Can I have rice krispies? At odd times. But you can imagine when my heart is already melted. I just indulge her. That's the power of praise. Can we lavish praise on God tonight before we place a demand on him tonight? That's why the scripture says when the people praise God it says then the earth will yield increase. In other words, when you lavish honor and praise on God, you can place a demand on him. And tonight, I don't know about you, but all through today, my spirit has been demanding, placing a demand on God on your behalf. To my heart indicts a good matter concerning you. And tonight I want you to join me where my faith is. And let us begin by giving God a heartfelt praise. Listen to me, somebody is here tonight. The key to unlocking what you've been looking for is in the next 60 seconds. That you can you can just come out of yourself and give God some praise. Let me tell you something about praise. You see, the more conscious of yourself you are, the lower the quality of praise you give to God. For you to touch the heart of God in praise, there is a sense of dignity that you must lose. And we see that in the life of David in the scripture. And so tonight, I want us to lose some sense of dignity. And let us touch the heart of the Father tonight. Believing that the demands we place on him tonight he will go far and beyond whatever we can ask tonight. Listen, can we give God some praise here tonight? Come and give the Lord a big shout. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Jesus, we honor you here today. We praise your holy name. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. 
says the Spirit of the Lord. For everyone who has been experienced in a closed door, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, the key to unlock this door is in your worship tonight. It's in your worship right now. This is, this is your time Says the spirit of the Lord This is your time Says the spirit of the Lord yeah. Stretch it out. 
There's somebody here, you have a sharp memory, you're always losing memory. I hear the Lord say, your memory is restored right now in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, he's making a way where there seems to be no way. You have eaten dead men. Tonight the Lord said, I'm making a way for you. I'm making a way for you. I'm making a way for you. There's somebody here recently just got the dedicated glasses so that you can read. The Lord said tonight, if you will believe me, he said, touch that eye now and I will restore you a 2020 vision and you will no longer need those spectacles. Says the spirit of the Lord. There's a lady here, in fact there are Six of you here, your menstrual cycle pain is unbearable. Ah, that pain, that pain pangs. The Lord tells me to tell you to put your hands on your lower abdomen. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, you will not feel that pain from this day going forward. Your menstrual cycle will be easy like you have never had it before. In the name of Jesus. Someone here is about to come into a contract. And the Lord said to tell you, you have, you have been beaten for this contract. And the Lord said to tell you that this contract you would receive in two decades, you will still be eating of its fruit. Your children will eat of his fruit. Your relations will eat of his fruit. Says the Spirit of the Lord. The key is in your worship. The key is in your worship. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Listen to me. If you are in this place and you are into farming business, wherever you are standing, I want you to kneel down and put your hand on the ground. I command in the name of Jesus the ground beneath you begins to favor your business. The ground beneath you begins to yield supernatural increase. I command your land to begin to flow with milk and honey. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Listen to me, everybody here in business. I want you to bring your bank details to memory now. For I pronounce on your storehouse. Open heavens in the name of Jesus. That storehouse will never dry. Every storehouse that seems dry. I command open heavens and declare of the Lord here tonight. Receive abundance of rain. Receive abundance of rain. Let the produce of your field let it increase and let it fill your storehouse to overflow in the name of Jesus. He's moving. 
Anatembea. He's moving. Anatembea. He's moving. Anatembea. Even over your marriage. Hata katika doa yako. Even over that pain in your marriage. Na katika uchungu katika doa yako. He's moving right now. Anatembea sasa. No more shame. No more reproach. Fully paid. It's fully paid. It's fully paid. I hear the Lord say, no more hiding. Because of what you owe, no more hiding. Now you are free to leave. Now you are free to serve. Now you are free to move around. Now you are free to soar like an eagle. You are free, you are free, you are free right now. Oh yes, oh yes, you are free right now. No more bondage. No more bondage. You are free, you are free right now. I hear him say you are free. Yes, you are free from that debt. He's paid it in full. I hear he said he's free. You are free, my sister. My sister, you are free. You are free, you are free, you are free. Oh, yes, you are free, my sister. No more hiding, no more begging, no more lying. You are free tonight. He has set you free from the bondage of that debt. You are going from debt to riches. Listen to me. The Lord has just issued this church tonight. Get free church. Get free members. In the name of Jesus. Shaka Parakadia. Everybody under the sound of my voice. Everybody that belongs to this church. I decree and declare in another 12 months. I issue a decree from the most I God. You are debt free. You are debt free. Debt forgiveness. Debt cancellation. Says the Spirit of the Lord. From this moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord say, you are free, my brother. The Lord has set you free. What you could not do because of what held you back, because of what has been holding you back. I hear the Lord say, freedom, 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 freedom to dream. I hear the Lord say, dream again, dream again. For the Lord will fulfill the desires of your heart. Dream again, dream again, again, again. Dream again, again, says the Spirit of the Lord. I'm opening up your mind. I'm pouring visions and revelation that will take you places. Sharebando Saparati. Oh, I see you growing wings, my brother. I see you growing wings. It's time. I hear the Lord say, take her from the ground. Take her from where you've been. In the realm of the spirit. Even in the physical. Take her. Take her, says the spirit of the Lord. Yes, there is a river. Listen to me, there is a river. It's moving like a tornado. It's starting from there. And the Lord will not stop until it hits there right now. I need you to begin to stir your faith up. Because there is a river. And it's cleansing. It's, it's coming. It's moving all over this place right now. Listen to me. 
everything the enemy has placed on you that has allowed people to overlook you even when you are qualified but when you show up they overlook you as though you are underqualified there is a cleansing river it's moving like a tornado I see it right now it's moving all over this place cleansing cleansing in this house cleansing in this place cleansing right now shaka para tazuza reke tosha paretezia barrieka tu su su pregenia ena mokosa ena makateza there's somebody in this place all the application you have made before now has been turned down and you've been wondering what is going on I need you to come and stand here right now who is that person I see somebody you've been making applications and application and application and you've been rejected and rejected and rejected give me your hand Listen to me, Mam Brateka Susa Canada. Yesterday I preached, the Lord said, and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Tonight, return in the power of favor, return in the power of kindness, and go and receive that which belongs to you. Listen to me, justice is full payment and even more for the damages that has been done so receive justice for the times of rejection justice for the number of rejection and even more in the name of jesus everybody look up just give me a handshake my sister nothing to worry about anymore Listen to me. it has ended it has finished. Jesus ended it for you. I only came to come in agreement. I only came to remind you of the verdict against that which has threatened your peace. Tonight, God wages war on your behalf. No more shame. Listen to me. You've not been able to meet your demands. But listen to me from tonight. Not only will you meet your demands, but you will begin to help other people meet their needs. In the name of Jesus. Go in the power of this favor. My sister, go in the power of this favor. No more rejection. Favor accompany you. Your next interview. Your next application. Listen to me. There are three people on this line. You will not even need to make another one. They are calling you back. Yes. They are calling my brother. They are calling you back. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, the scripture says where you have been forsaken and rejected. He said, I will make your gate a gate of praise and I will make you an eternal excellence. So where you have been rejected, the Lord said they will, be, they will approve you. They will call you back. Listen to me. I told you yesterday, don't conclude yet that this thing is over. It is not over until you get your own job. It is not over until you get your right hand of fellowship. Listen to me. Whatever they did not see in you, the Bible says, when they perceive the grace of God on the life of Paul, he said they extended to me. There is a grace that is called perceivable grace. They cannot deny what you carry. They cannot deny favor in your life. I prophesy over everyone standing here undeniable grace is activated on your life right now in the name of Jesus my brother my brother go in this favor go in this favor go in this favor go in this favor yes 
No more shedding of tears. It's good news. It's good news. It's good news. It may have been tough. I came to announce to you from this day, it's only good news. It's only good news. Listen to me. If the devil had known, he would not have attacked you the way he has attacked you in the last five months. But listen to me. Five is a number of grace. And grace is multiplied to you right now in the name of Jesus. Go in this favor. Go. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. My brother, go. Yes, favor is all around you. Go. Go. No more rejection, my brother. Jesus. All of it, Lord. Listen to me. I hear the Lord say, not too long from now, you will employ people. Listen to me. This you will do out of ease. Because there is a major, major, major door that I see the Lord opening up to you and it will put you in the place of a contractor where you would have to employ people to do the work that God is opening for you. Listen to me. These hands, can I get the anointing? God is, God is rewarding this man. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to put your hands out like a bow. Listen to me. Your hands will overflow. Your hands will overflow. I see your hand overflowing. Listen to me. When people want to drink without cup from the tap, I see you distributing to people. People will drink out of your well. Why it took this long is because God is digging the well downwards. The well is not only to feed you. The well is to feed nations. I see a big building. I see studios. I see all kinds of activity happening. There. And many will come. And of you, they will find their own place in God. Also be patient with me. And keep your eyes. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. It is well. It is well with you. That's what I hear the Spirit say. That it is well. In Jesus' name. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. In the name of Jesus. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. My brother, step aside. Go in this favor. In the name of Jesus. Go in this favor. Go in this favor. Go in this faith. In Jesus' name. Go in this faith. Go in this faith. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come in this There are places you must go for the Lord. Even though it seems that you don't have what it takes. But tonight, the Lord said the anointing is sufficient. So I anoint you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go and fulfill your calling. Do well. Do well. Glorify God in Jesus' name. This is give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Please, as you take your seat, Help me put the loudest clap together for the bishop, 
and the first lady of this house the loudest clap the loudest is this how you appreciate your vision is this how you appreciate the man of God come on DC let us celebrate the gifts of God over this house let's thank God for their life let's thank God for their commitment let's thank God for their sacrifice help me appreciate them for the kindness they have shown towards me I love you son ma. thank you thank you and help me appreciate Bishop John who is a father to me and I love him dearly and God has raised him and his wife for my family for such a time as this I love you sir thank you for your kindness and your goodness towards me in Jesus name I have 25 minutes to drop something in your spirit it doesn't take a lot much for God to do something but what is most important here tonight I believe the Lord has done but I want to put a seed in your heart before you go because the Lord gave me a word for you and this is the word the Lord gave me for you the Lord said this See, it's time to manifest greatly. It's time to manifest greatly. It's time to manifest greatly. It's your time to manifest greatly. And I want to quickly put this word in your spirit. I want you to receive it as a prophetic word. And what do you do with a prophetic word? You run with a prophetic word. You wage war with a prophetic word. You worship with a prophetic word. Yeah, you live by a prophetic word. And so tonight, turn your Bible to Job chapter 14. I will read verse 13 and verse 14. Job chapter 14. Verse 13 and 14. This is Job writing. But I believe that there is a prophetic word for you and I in Job chapter 14. It says, oh, Job, Job, are not you John, Job. Are you are you he says, oh, that you would hide me in the grave. That you will conceal me until my rod is past. Let me tell you something. This looks or sounds like a paradox. Job said God will hide him in the grave. It will conceal him in the grave. It's an unlikely place that any one of us want to be hidden. But still going on the strength of what I shared with you last night. Because last night I talked to you about seasons. Tonight I want to usher you into your time. If you remember what I said yesterday, God's promises, God's prophecies, God's purposes, are to be watched through time. Through seasons, through dispensations, and through generations. And so we looked at seasons yesterday. But tonight I want to look at time. Because I believe that this ministry has come into a prophetic time in God's calendar. This ministry is in this new decade into what we call a Kairos moment. A time appointed by God in time. And so it is important for us to know so that we can make the most of this time. So I want to encourage somebody tonight that you see sometimes God will hide us in the almost likely place where the enemy things he has had you. Where the enemy puts no attention to you. Because his ultimate assignment is to take you down to the grave. 
But when God hides you in the grave, God is outsmarting the enemy. Because he thinks he has you. And so I want you to be encouraged tonight. That God is only concealing you. And why is God concealing you? Because if Moses was not concealed, the enemy would have killed him as a baby. That would have messed up the plan of redemption. Of, of God rather. The redemption of Israel from Egypt would have been messed up. God appeared to, Je- to, to Joseph. He said, take baby Jesus away. Conceal him away. Because Aaron is after this boy. The baby knows, the, the enemy knows. The best time to kill a thing is at seed level. It's at baby level. It's at conception level. So for the enemy not to take you, God will conceal you. And he will conceal you in a place nobody will look at. The enemy will not even bother. That's why Job is saying something. But look at what he tells us here. He said the reason why God concealed him is this. He said that you will appoint me a set time. And remember me. He said if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my heart's service. I will wait till my change comes. Listen to this very quickly. The operations and the manifestation of God's activity of kingdom activity are time bound time sensitive. That's why we must become skillful in surfing the waves of time. As you know, historically, every major move of God is not only recorded to a location. It's also recorded to a time. So that's why we remember our independence. In Nigeria, 1960, Nigeria got independent from the British colonialism. Kenya, 1963 or 64, thereabouts. We remember those dates today because they were monumental events. Not only did it happen in Kenya as a location, it also happened at a time because God walks through time. And this year, you have come into a set time. There are things that did not happen before now because if it happened, the enemy would have killed it. So God held it back. God preserved it. God concealed it until an appointed time. And God sent me to tell you that you have come into an appointed time where all kinds of miracles will begin to happen. Where that which has been conceived many years ago is about to materialize dreams of the past visions that were written down ideas that were documented I hear the Lord say that you have come into that set time that they will begin to manifest there will be a demonstration the Bible says the whole world all creation is eagerly waiting for the time of demonstration of the sons of God God. Well, DC, welcome to your time of manifestation. You didn't hear what I said. I said, DC, welcome to your time of demonstration. Welcome to your time of restoration. Welcome. I turn to your neighbor. Shake their hand. Say, welcome, neighbor, into your time of demonstration, of manifestation, of elevation in the name of Jesus. Oh, let me rush quickly. Let me rush, let me rush. Listen to me. 
An appointed time kwa wakati uliotengwa is targeted ni kwamba umewekwa shabaha is strategic na imewekwa kwa umakini is calculated na imehesabiwa and is designated na kwamba imetawaliwa so divine purpose kwa sababu ya kusudi kuu as we see in the statement of job kama vinye tunaona katika aliko lile conceal me ni kwamba utanificha until my rot is mpaka kadhabu zangu zimepita na mimi utaniteua so kwa hivyo Mungu ana makini sana kwa wakati God doesn't play with time That's why one of the grave sin you will commit is to waste time because God cannot do anything here on this side of eternity without respecting time but in that side of eternity God is not time bound God time does not control God in the realm which he lives but every time God steps here to create something uh, supernatural every time God steps down and enter into earth to move in your life to move in my life God has to honor time so when God comes how you cooperate with God in this move of God is to use time wisely time is your currency in partnering with divinity so God does not overlook time wasting and God cannot accomplish much with time wasters so tonight I release grace over this house ah, grace to manage time grace to be able to use time in your favor this is when I was praying this afternoon I heard the voice of my master clearly and he told me to tell one man here he said time is in your favor he said you are not running out of time he said I have given you the gift of time you will accomplish everything in your heart you have been worried if you have time but I hear the Lord say this afternoon to tell you I have given you the gift of time you will finish your assignment you will do all that is in your heart because I put them in your heart listen to me like the woman with the issue of blood uh, you may not be on the agenda of Jesus that day but your faith can put you into this prophecy time is in your favor time is in your favor time is in your favor you will complete it you will finish the work in the name of Jesus Quickly, what happened? What happened when your time comes? This is what should you expect in this season and time. Go with me to Psalm 105. Psalm 105. Man of God, play with me. Play with me. Psalm 105. I want to begin to prophesy. Verse 19 to 24. As the Lord lives. Everything I'm about to declare now. Before we gather here for another crossover service. There will be countless numbers of testimony if you believe. This is not only for those who are here. But everybody, every member of this church that listens to this prophetic message the same anointing in this place will work on their behalf. Because God sent me to tell you this is your time to manifest. Until the time that his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. 
The ruler of the people let him go free. He made him lord over his house. And ruler of all his possessions. To bind his princes at his pleasure. And teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt. And Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. Increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. The first thing to expect when your time comes, your word begin to come to pass. When your time comes, God's promise begin to come to pass. Prophecy begin to manifest. The Bible says, until the time that his word came to pass, there is a time for prophecy fulfillment. There is a time that when you enter into that time, it's like when a woman enter into labor you see when a woman conceives the first thing that is determined is not the sex of the child the first thing that is determined is what we call EDD expected due date which means the period which the baby will come out so after those months in the womb as comfortable as the baby is in the womb when that EDD kicks in the baby has no choice the baby has to come and that's why the woman goes into labor you see when a woman gives birth before, way before that time it is considered a premature baby. God doesn't want to give you a premature blessing. Many a times we have run out before our time. Today many people are victims of half-baked churches pastored by men that were not fully raised. They did not wait for their time uh, to be given birth to her. So like a premature baby, they are premature ministers. So they go out and start a premature ministry. And people get into trouble. But aren't you glad that this church is in full time? Aren't you glad that you have a leader that went through full time? But when the baby delays more, there's something we call induced labor. Because the baby has stayed longer. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, every blessing overdue, we induce labor on it. Tonight, they are coming out. But I came to tell you that your baby is coming out because it is your time. Your word is about to come to pass. God's promise is about to come to pass. In the name of Jesus. This story we just read, this scripture, is the story of Joseph. There was a word over his life. But that word was kept for a while. But the Bible says, when the time came, the word came to pass. I want you to know, this year, the time has come so get ready for the fulfillment of promises get ready for demonstration of promises if you believe it shout amen let me quickly jump what do you do when you enter a, a time that God is telling you that my promise and prophecy in plan for you will begin to come to pass. You run. You see, every prophetic word without a prophetic instruction needs to be questioned. 
when your time come like this wakati wako unapofika kama sasa time to take the word ni wakati wako wa kulichukua lile neno and begin to walk it na uanze kulifanyisha kazi and begin to run with the word na uanze kukibia na lile neno who reads it ni kwamba abaya analisoma would run it ni kwamba ata ata so you have come into a season kwa hivyo tumefika kwa wakati all those things you have written down you are not doing anything about yale mambo yote ambayo umenakini hujakuwa kiyafanya the lord say get up Bibi Bwana anasema inuka. To run with the word. Na uanze kukibia kwa lile neno. To run with the word. Na uanze kukibia kwa lile neno. I once heard Bishop Jake said. Na napenda vile Bishop Titi Jake said. When your season come. Kwamba wakati wa kufika. He said you run and run and run and run and run. Bwana anasema unakibia na unakibia na unakibia. Run and run and run and run and run. Run na na nakibia. So it's time to take those prophetic words. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wako kushika lile neno la Kristo. To run with them. Na uanze kukibia na. Begin to do something with them. Uanze kufanya Take steps in that direction and watch what God will do for you. Again quickly. What happens when your time comes? Verse 20A. Mstari wa 20. He said the king sent and released him. Nikwaba mfarme akamtuma na kamwachilia. The king sent and released him. Akatumana na kamwachilia. Psalm 105 verse 20A. The king, verse 28 mustari wa 20 just 20 don't worry 20 mustari mustari wa 20 the king sent and released him when your time come this year god begins to send you helpers of destiny so expect helpers of destiny he said the king sent and released him the king did not just send a word the king sent someone to unlock him from that prison so when your time comes help us of destiny will begin to show up left and right so i prophesy in the name of jesus this is receive your help us of destiny i know there are some big men here who don't need help But for those of us who understand that there are no self-made men there are only helped made men for those of us who know that receive help us of destiny receive your help us of destiny in the name of Jesus can I speak to somebody quickly tonight when I was praying early hours of today The Lord tell me to encourage somebody's heart. He said you sought somebody's help. And they did not help you. As you expected they will help you. The Lord said if they helped you at that time. That help will become a trap to you. God said it was not yet time. He said it is not their fault. It's only because it was not yet your time that's why i couldn't allow them to help you remember joseph said to the butler he had helped this guy to interpret his dream and on his way out to be restored he said to the butler when you get out remember me make mention of me the bible said two years joseph was not remembered listen to me the butler was not evil joseph's time had not yet come so they didn't help you not because they didn't like you they didn't help you because it was not yet your set time but now that is your set time receive help us of destiny they are coming your way they are coming your way i hear the lord say they are coming your way they are coming in numerous numbers help is on the way i say help is on the way 
I hear help is on the way. I hear help is on the way. Listen to me even right now. In the realm of the spirit, I am hearing the sound of a siren. It's a sign that help is on the way. When you hear a siren of an ambulance or a fire station, it's sound that help is on the way. Do you see? Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear? Hear what I hear. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Do you hear what I hear? I hear the sound of help. I hear the sound of help. Receive your help as of destiny. Receive help from above. I hear from afar. Help is coming from afar. Help is coming from afar. God is already speaking to people on your behalf. He's already instructing them on what to do. Listen to me. Whether they like it or not, they will help you because your time has come. You didn't hear what I said. I said your time has come for helpers to knock on your door. I hear don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's help knocking on the door. I said it's help knocking on the door. Because it's 12 midnight. Ah, don't be afraid. It's called the last hour miracle. Don't be afraid. Who is knocking on my door at this time of the hour? But I came to announce to somebody. It's called a last minute miracle. It's called a last minute helper of destiny. Open. Open. Because the helper is here. Receive it if you believe it. Listen to me. I prophesy 10 helpers of destiny receive daily helpers receive daily helpers I'm about to prophesy 10 dimensions of help come into this house number one receive daily helpers shout amen receive timely helpers shout amen they will be on time timely helpers they don't delay they come just when you need it the bible says psalm 46 our god is his present help in time dc receive timely helpers in the name of jesus receive compulsory helpers compulsory helpers receive it in jesus name receive consistent helpers shout amen receive willing helpers people who are willing the bible said to god said to moses exodus 34 and 5 he says select among you those who are of a willing heart receive people who are willing to help you i'm telling you you need them you don't need grumble helpers you don't need grumble helpers you need helpers who are willing receive helpers who are willing now receive generous helpers receive humble helpers receive tireless helpers receive unsolicited helpers receive strong helpers if you receive it shout amen shout amen they are coming they are coming they are coming they are coming listen they are coming they are coming you know what i hear in the sound of the spirit i'm hearing the sound of marching people marching uh, they, are, they are in a hurry they are coming in a hurry i told you yesterday the lord said i will avenge speedily my elector you see her uh, God is not bringing sluggish helpers that will take 10 years to get to you. Listen to me. 
These ones that are here. Ah, get up on your feet. Let's do something prophetic. Ah, come on. That is the sound of help. That is the sound of help. It's coming quicker. It's coming quicker. It's coming. Come on. It's coming quicker. It's coming quick. 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 Shout amen. My time is up. Bishop, can I take 10 more minutes? What happens? Sit down quickly. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my God. When this is, I am painting a picture. We are in the third month. We are in the third month. How many months to go? How many months to go? I am painting a picture of the next nine months. So you need to receive. I am only, right now, I am a brush in the hands of God. He is literally painting and what I see in painting is what I'm declaring to you. God is painting now somebody's destiny. And after nine months Mine is the nine is the number of delivery. When you look back after the next nine months, and look at what God has done for you. The only response to that is that you will begin to look for people to help. Because even right now, I hear you, Daddy. He's telling me that Second Corinthians 9:8 is activated over this church. Put it up for me very quickly. I hear you, sir. I hear you, Daddy. I hear you. He said, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you, always having all sufficiency. In all things, may abound, may have, may have an abundance for every good work. If I were you, I would shout, Amen. Listen to me on Sunday. If God doesn't change what He has given to me, I'm going to teach you on the power of Amen. In my message. On Sunday, I'm speaking on declarations and manifestations. I'm going to tell you seven things that make the word in your mouth as though God is the one speaking. And from this day, nothing will refuse what comes out of your mouth. You wait till Sunday. Number three, what happens when your time comes? Psalm 105 verse 20b. He said the ruler of the people let him go free. When your time comes, liberation comes. Joseph had been a captive in Egypt. He was locked up in prison. And where he was locked up, only God could have released him. But the Bible says, when his time came, every captivity he was held in, he was set free from it. And tonight, this year, in this season, in this set time of yours, everything that has held you captive, every sickness every trouble every sorrow 
every pain, every system that has held you captive, tonight they are losing their hold on you because it is your set time, your time of liberation, your time of freedom. The Bible says, where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty, there is liberation. Therefore, I prophesy tonight, you have entered into a season of liberation by demonstration in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. I hear the Lord say, even now, there is a change of address. Ah, my God, there is a change of address. You see, where they have met you before now, they will be disappointed when they go back there because God has moved you. God has liberated you in the name of Jesus. A change of address is taking place right now in the name of Jesus. They will not find you where they used to find you. They will not meet you where you have been held captive. Now, I hear the Lord say your new address is in liberty. You now live in liberty road, in liberation, in freedom, in the name of Jesus. No more shackles, no more prison bars, nothing holding you down. But now you are going forward into the plan of God, into the purpose of God, says the Spirit of the Lord. If you receive it, shout, I receive. Listen, until you are liberated, you will still be in captivity. In other words, your address will remain the same. But when God steps in according to the measure of time, Joseph, oh, oh my God, I, I hear you, I hear you, daddy. I hear you, daddy. In less than 20, oh my God, my God, my God, I hear you, sir. Listen to me. There is a 24-hour intervention now. I'm telling you, somebody, listen to me, somebody is under ultimatum if you don't show up with what is needed it's going to be a lot of trouble but I hear my daddy said in 24 hours Joseph slept as a prisoner he woke up as a prime minister I release by the oil of God on this commission a 24 hour breakthrough 24 hour intervention on your behalf a change of address in 24 hours oh my god my god my god I hear the Lord say your old address was the prison your new address is the palace you are going from the prison into your palace you are going from the prison into your palace says the spirit of the Lord if you receive your new address go to five people tell them my address has changed 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 yes your address has changed your address has changed you have been liberated from the old address into your new address you've been liberated from the old address into your new address and this new address is a land flowing you didn't hear what I said I said it's flowing it's flowing with milk and honey your new address is where the house of the Lord is your new address has an open heavens the soil in your new address is fertile I didn't hear what I said I said your new address the soil is fertile the land has plenty 
for you and your family. And hear the Lord say, Eat and be fat. Know that the Lord is good. If you believe it, shout and believe. Take your seat real quick. Second to the last. What happens? This is when your time comes. Psalm 105 verse 21. He said he made him Lord of his house. He made him Lord of his house. Listen to me. I studied a document of an archaeologist who specializes in Egyptology. It's the science, is the subject, is the science, is the is the study of what of studying old Egypt, ancient Egypt. And this guy discovered quite a number of interesting things. But one of the things he majored on was their prison system in Egypt. And quickly, one of the things his research said is that the prison back then usually in the king's court is called now in English the place of confinement the place of confinement in other words you cannot go beyond a certain boundary so for many years Joseph was in a place of confinement he was loaded with purpose he was loaded with grace but yet he was in confinement I need five people to come up quickly five people People. Pastor James, Pastor James, come. I need five people. I want to show you what the enemy does. I want you to form a circle, quick one, a close circle. Barata Susa Barakada. I need somebody to fix your eyes on this prophetic moment because something is going to drop on you and when it drops on you everything that has confined you is about to break into pieces listen I am Joseph I am so anointed I have purpose in my life I have vision in my life the hand of the Lord is upon me I have so much that is promised me and every time I make a move I'm confined every time I make a move I'm confined every time I make a move I'm confined even though I'm great by destiny but yet I'm confined even though God has chosen me but yet a season of my life I am confined the Bible says that word that Joseph when his time came he went from confinement into enlargement somebody somebody is going to your season of enlargement of enlargement of enlargement in the name of Jesus everything that has held you down I prophesy this year you are going into a season of enlargement oh my God I hear the Lord say watch this watch I hear the Lord say it is your season of Rehoboth the Lord has made a room when you are in a place of confinement you have no room to operate but I prophesy your time for your rail boat is now your time for your rail boat is now let me prophesy to those who are here I sense in this area that God is making room for you listen to me landlords are coming out of this place 
you are home owners. Uh, you will own complexes. Uh, you will own stadiums. Uh, malls will come out of your generation. Uh, because the Lord said, I am making room. I am making room. I am making room. From today, uh, your name shall be called Real Bolt. Uh, the Lord has made room uh, for me. Uh, if you believe in DC, uh, even right now, uh, I prophesy to Deliverance Church. Uh, thank God for this. Uh, but yet in my spirit tonight, uh, the Lord has put Real Bolt in my heart. Uh, and I speak Real Bolt. Uh, God is making more room. Uh, for this ministry uh, all across Africa in Europe uh, there are sons and daughters uh, that are living your grace uh, and God is giving them room uh, outside of this country uh, Bishop uh, and you will come and say uh, that in the continent of the world uh, the Lord has made room for me uh, Mama, you and your husband uh, will declare uh, and say uh, in all continent, uh, the Lord has made room for us. Uh, this if you believe. Uh, listen to me. Some of you are the one going to Europe. Some of you, one of you are going to America. Some of you are going to Asia. And you are going to take this gospel. You are going to take the grace, the vision of this ministry. And you will expand this reach. And Papa and Mama will say, The Lord has made room for us. I need you to go to three people. I five them and say, The Lord has made room for me. What about when your time comes? He said, and made him ruler. Somebody say ruler. There's a difference with expansion and a difference between elevation. The first thing that happened to Joseph that is happening in this house tonight is God is bringing expansion. But now the Bible says he made him ruler. In other words, when your time comes, God brings elevation. And so somebody is here. I hear the Lord say, you have worked where you have worked for a while now. And it doesn't seem like you are moving up. Listen to me, before the end of July, your promotion letter would have been given to you. Listen to me. God said, tonight, those of you who are in certain industries, the Lord said, God is giving you elevation. Is there anybody in textile business? Textile. Textile. Clothes. Clothes. Clothing business. I see clothes. I don't know why I'm seeing clothes. Anybody? Please. Hurry up. Are you in clothing business? <laughs> Come, quickly. Come quickly. Because God is about to take you up in that industry. In that field. If you are. So why were you wasting my time before? Anyway, grace is available. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Receive elevation. Receive elevation. Receive elevation. Receive elevation. Receive elevation. Receive elevation. You are going. Your business is rising up. Your business is... In fact, who is the person... You, you have products that you just received. Who just received products? In that business, you have products you are selling. What? You are in textile. Who is selling... Clothes, product. You have product. Please. This is a prophetic moment. Because God told me you are about to sell everything. You will see, you will sell 
and you will take more, you will sell, you will keep increasing. Because elevation has come for you in the name of Jesus. This you put your hands together. You are going higher. As the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways. This year, tonight, you are plugged into the wings of the eagle. You are soaring higher. You are going higher. You are going higher. If you believe, shout amen. 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 When your time comes, your authority comes. He said to bind his princes, verse 22, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teaches his, his elders wisdom. The word priest there is the Hebrew word sahar. It means tax master, officers, and all of the people who have been the one uh, 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 binding Joseph now, what about in slavery his masters the Bible says when its time came power changed hands the people that used to bound, bind him the Bible says he now got to the place of binding them not only was he binding them the Bible says he was binding them at his pleasure listen to me from tonight you will begin to bind the enemy at your pleasure I mean ah, even Finances will be at your pleasure. Whatever has dominated you uh, from this night, uh, power has changed hand uh, and you will begin to dominate. Uh, uh, in the name of Jesus. When Jesus died on that cross, uh, he took the power from the enemy. Uh, he took authority from Satan and he gave it to you and I. So tonight, uh, because you have come into your season, uh, enter into your season of authority and power and begin to bind and begin to molest everything that has bound you and molested you in the name of Jesus. Finally, the Bible says that Jacob came. Jacob came. His father came and dwelt in the land. And God greatly increased him. What does that mean? Joseph's influence was established. The guy that did not have influence before. Now he had influence in the nation to the extent that he can bring an entire generation, <laughs> an entire nation brought them into another nation and they began to grow. That's what we call the power of influence. And sometimes in our lives it seems as if we cannot even move a, a pin. We don't have that kind of influence to move a pin. But listen to me, I have been there before. But when your time comes, God begins to establish your influence. Somebody you are listening to me tonight. Even where you walk, nobody hears you. They don't even know whether you exist. Where you are doing business. Nobody even takes a second look at your business. Because your business don't have any influence in that community. But listen to me, it is up until then. But from tonight, the power of influence is resting upon you. Listen to me, you will influence the political structure. Even right now I hear the Lord say uh, that out of this church uh, will come out people uh, that will influence this nation uh, in the direction of its purpose, uh, in the direction of its, its destiny. Uh. Listen to me, there are politicians in this church uh, that will come out of this church uh, with great influence in this land uh, and they will say, where did you come from? Uh, and they will say, I came from D.C. I uh, had the word of the Lord and I'm here even at your youth you will begin to influence politically says the spirit of the Lord there's a grace right now that I sense over my life I sense it strongly in this house it's grace 
for political influence uh, that this house uh, will gain the attention uh, of this nation uh, because of massive projects uh, God is about to release you into it uh, and once you begin to work in this project uh, they will not be able to ignore you no more uh, they will call you sir come and tell us uh, how shall we move forward uh, they said to Elijah sir what shall we do I hear the Lord say over the bishop of this house they are coming they are coming and when they come they will say sir what shall we do to move this nation forward and the wisdom of God in that instant the Lord will supply if you believe it shout amen all rise to your feet Come on. I hear, listen. There is a power that is called the power of the miraculous. But there's also a power. It's called power of influence. So even right now, the Lord is giving that power to influence. I'm telling you, there are decision makers here. Ah, uh, listen to me. Ah, uh, they are decision makers. Uh, people that will make decisions uh, for companies. Uh, I see people from this church uh, invited into boardrooms. Uh, those that I'm talking to, uh, you can feel a burning sensation. Uh, in your right here, God is talking to you. Uh, uh, you are going to be a decision maker. Not too long from now, you will find yourself in the place of making major decisions. Listen to me, Reverend Pastor James. Come, come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Sheikh Abara, woman of God, come quickly. Come quickly. I need, I need, there are five major business people here. I'm not talking about startup business. I'm talking about business people. You're been in business. Okay, the Lord is telling me, you've been in business at least nothing less than five to ten years. Listen to me. God is about to shift things in this life of this people uh, and you are going to make decisions uh, that is going to have to do with billions of dollars uh. where are the business people here just stand here stand here quickly listen to me God is about to give you influence I'm going to speak this one into your life Come, my brother. Come, stand under the glory. There's a glory. Come, mama. Stand, stand under the glory. The rest of you pray for them because listen to me. If it is well with them, it is well with everybody. Listen to me. You belong to the same tribe. Ah, there is a blessing on this tribe that God is activating tonight. Listen to me. There's going to see. Let me tell you something. I, I, see, I don't care. Let people say I'm not a prosperity gospel. Uh, the entire gospel is to prosper us. We are a prosperity preacher because Jesus wants us to prosper. I'm hearing God say, I am making billionaires and billionaires in DC. Listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. 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 You think this is all? You think this is all? This is. Listen, this will become an entire school very soon. This, this whole building you see. An entire university. An entire university. You would not worship God in this place. This will be a university. What I am saying here is a university. There is much more bigger in this land and it will not take long to build. I'm telling you the truth. Because even right now, God is speaking, hey guy, chapter 1 and 2, into my spirit concerning this church. What God will do, he will do like he did in the days of Agar. Where he will build himself a new temple and the glory of the latter temple shall be greater than the former. Listen to me, if you don't know, you are already worshipping in a former temple. 
in the realm of the spirit and that's why tonight uh, we are pulling on the latter temple because the glory which the Lord is showing me uh, this glory surpasses anything you've seen uh. old hands all of you old hands let's connect this glory First of all, I hear the Lord say, There will be no failed businesses in this house from tonight. Second thing, I hear you, Daddy. Some of you that your business is not doing as well as it should do. I, I hear you, sir. God is saying, I am bringing partners that will partner with you. In fact, some of you are here, your business is at an ideal level. Some of you need funding to take off. I'm hearing the Lord say part of the helpers of destiny God released they would not ask you for any percentage the favor of the Lord is what is doing this one and they will say how much do you need and they will partner with you with their, with their fund for you to go and do what God has put in your heart to do the thought thing I'm hearing God God say, some of you, you are here, you are believing God for a property for that business. The Lord is opening up opportunities for property. In fact, there's somebody here, you are waiting on an answer because you have proposed to somebody to release their property for you. And they have said they will get back to you. But the Lord said, the news is going to be favorable. They would release it for you. And God said, I will prosper you in that business. And from there, you will go on and buy your own property. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of God, move over this ones. Even right now, as you instruct me over there, you said to me, they are decision makers. They are anointed to make decisions. Like the anointing of Joseph. The anointing of Esther. The anointing of Daniel. To make decisions. In fact, I hear the Lord say that the grace of Nehemiah is resting upon these business people. That you will build so quickly and your business will be seen by all men. And God will be glorified says the spirit of the Lord be blessed in the name of Jesus be blessed in the name of Jesus shout amen clap your hands and go back to your seat